up everybody another day here arcs lively ascended hope you're having a great morning afternoon evening or night wherever you at in the world hope you're having a great one please smash that like button help the video okay guys i'm here i'm happy i got my bow so i finally can go hunt some stuff and tame some stuff but i wanted to show you that they actually added aim assist in this game that's right guys there's aim assist on this i got this little guy over here when you have any weapon up, it will actually, if you lock onto it one time, okay, I'm done, I locked. I'm not touching the controls. Look at it, assisting your aim now. So it's really cool. If you're bad aiming like I am, they have aim assist now. And you see it's pretty good. I mean, just then look at the thing move with that thing. Staying right on target the whole time, right in the, the chest area there. So, how to turn this on is you go into settings, just hit escape on your keyboard if you're on PC. I forget what it is. I think it's the option button on PlayStation. And you just go to settings here, and you go over to advanced, and it is right here, guys. Aim assist strength multiplier. I have mine at 100. I think it comes that way when you turn it on. So, if you wanted to lower it or you could just click on it and then you could take it all the way down to zero if you wanted to. So that's your aim assist. I'm pretty sure it comes default this way. And then the other one is if you're using a controller like I'm using right now, here your here's your wireless controller aim assist. So you could turn it off, do it when it's just aiming or always. Like I said, this is default is always. So you could just do it when you're aiming or like where I have it as always, as long as you have it. The, like the bow out, you'll see it, the aim assist is on. But you can do it where it's just when you're aiming. I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, it helps some people who are not very good at aiming and don't want to get good at aiming. You can turn this on or you can turn it down. I think it probably goes all the way down to zero. Yeah, it goes down to zero. So zero would be would be completely off. And if you're using a controller, you just come over here and turn it off. And uh, it's that simple. But... I thought that was pretty cool. And oh, and don't forget, you got to hit save. So if we get saving and we go back, resume, it should be completely off. So let's see if this thing is aiming anymore. And you see, guys, the aim is gone. Aim assist is completely gone now. Even if I hold it, which starts moving, it will, it'll just go right off. See? So aim assist is completely off. I have the controller. So it's off on the controller and it's off on the game. The old arc didn't have aim assist, as far as I know. But I just want to show everybody that there is aim assist, and that's how you can turn it on, turn it off, or weaken it, or make it completely strong 100%. And you saw 100%, man, that thing, it locks on that target and does not move off that target. In some situations, it would probably be good to have the aim assist on. It does work on flyers, aim assist. See, there's a little magnet-looking thing that's on there. I thought it, it went off when it got in the air, but it doesn't. It still tracks them. I think once, as long as you have it tracking, once it's on the ground, it'll stay on there. Unless it goes behind the obstacle, just like right there. It locked on the whole time, but went behind a tree, it unlocked, which makes kind of makes sense. But it seems like the land, the land animals, seems like even if they go through foliage and that, it'll still lock, stay locked on them. But the flyers, it's not as, not as good, so... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash that like button for me. I appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel or haven't subscribed before, hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on. And I thank you in advance. Until the next video, I will see ya.